afternoon, Raleigh police released their five-day report on the officer-involved shooting at an apartment complex last week. In that shooting, a 28-year-old man was shot by police, as was Officer C.N. Chandler. CBS North Carolina's A.J. Janneville was among the first reporters on the scene, and he joins us now from Raleigh Police Headquarters with the details of that report. A.J. Hey, Sean. Hey, Maggie. What police say happened is that it was originally a call for a break-in. When they got there, they say that the suspect attacked them, and what police are saying is that they were forced to act. According to the report, police were called November 30th because Chijiok Maduke, a former tenant at an apartment on University Court, broke back into the complex. When police arrived, Maduke's family told officers Maduke was in his former room. Police say Maduke refused officers' request to come out of the room and instead charged at them with a kitchen knife. That's when the report says all three officers shot at Maduke, hitting not only him, but also one of the officers. Shot fired! Shot fired! The officer shot. Now we need EMS. The officer who was hit was wearing a bulletproof vest. He was released from the hospital but Maduke is still in the hospital in stable condition. Police say none of the three officers were equipped with body cameras. Because of the distance from their cars, dash cam video and audio is also not available. However, the report says Maduke's brother told investigators he got video on his cell phone. But law enforcement has not seen it yet. The case is now being investigated by the SBI. Investigated by the SBI. Now, Raleigh police have been using body cameras for the last month, and today they announced a new camera that they were going to be looking into, all in an effort to eventually task the entire police force with body cameras. I did speak with police officials today, and they told me that the three officers involved last week with this incident were not selected to be in this trial process for the body cameras. I did also reach out to the SBI for more information on this case because, as I mentioned, they are investigating. They told me that they will get back to me later this week with more information. Reporting live here in Raleigh, I'm A.J. Janneville for CBS North Carolina.